We're looking at the moment at the devastating ecological crisis, the financial crisis, and uh, potentially we have the opportunity to catalyze a huge shift in global culture and consciousness. Completely unstoppable urge to expand. A lot of our technology is very destructive. The planetary ecology is coming apart. It creates a lot of pollution. It creates a tremendous amount of waste. You name the, the variable, you name the indicator, they've all gotten worse. The, the impacts of, of the 60s are a clear example of this social, big, huge change that can come through personal change. And we're in this oil consciousness. It's a pretty low-level consciousness. We open up to the fact that we are affecting evolution. We could destroy our own life. I feel that our species needs all the help we can get. We can't get to any of those places without understanding where we're at right now. We could cooperate with nature. We could align ourselves with the process that seems to lead to higher consciousness and more intelligence. Well, the implications of consciousness expansion, what does that mean for society and for culture? There's no words that have been invented that are going to describe that experience. It kind of gives you the opportunity to rebirth. Basically what you're doing is experiencing the impermanent nature of reality through the framework of the body. This is a window of opportunity, a time where we can learn how to work together to make such a thing happen. The rift in Western thinking is that we believe that our wellness is independent of the health of the environment and the ecosystem. We're not the bosses of nature or the owners of nature. We're part of nature. This ecological crisis that we're going through is potentially a unifying force. To focus your mind, you focus on a flame. And for me, 2012 is that focal point for all of us. I just have that thought, you know, what is the transition that's gonna take place? You know, when we start running out of oil, like, how are we going to deal with that? Do you believe that a engine has been created that runs entirely on water at this point? Absolutely. We can go ahead and run that little scooter on the system right here. I think there needs to become a generation of people who see cities as scaffolding for living systems. I often think of the shelters that I'm designing so they really become consciousness raising devices. The universe is full of energy, but we have to get to a higher consciousness first to, to, to perceive it. And I, I think we have to do that quickly. How do we move towards a sustainable planetary civilization in a short period of time? And how do we make something positive and transformative out of it?